What's up, guys? I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this episode, we're going to go over how to make an option screener on Thinkorswim. So I've had this question uh, asked by a lot of people recently. Um, basically, how to make an option screener on Thinkorswim. And uh, Thinkorswim is a great trading platform. Uh, I've tried a lot of different trading platforms. Thinkorswim is by far my favorite. Um, the thing with Thinkorswim is it's a little bit complicated. Uh, they have so many features to the point where uh, it's actually a little bit complicated on how to use everything uh, to its potential. So uh, basically in this video, we're not going to go into uh, every single little thing about option screeners. There's so many things that uh, Thinkorswim has the capability of doing, but uh, if we went into every single little topic, um, it, this video would be two hours long. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic option screener, but I'm also going to give you two actually like useful screeners. So um, we're going to build two screeners that I like in this video uh, and that can actually be used. So uh, make sure you guys stick around and we're going to get right into the video. So uh, first thing, you obviously have to have Thinkorswim. Um, I believe you don't need any, well, actually you, you might need uh, some money in your TD Ameritrade account. Uh, once you get money in your TD Ameritrade account, you want to head over to Thinkorswim. And from that point, you want to click on the scan tab at the top, scan. Then you want to click option hacker, okay? And then your screen might look like this. You just have to press the down arrow. So um, we're going to make, the first screen we're going to make is the options day trading screener. So uh, basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking for good options that can potentially be good day trades. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this add filter right here and I'm going to add a couple options uh, criteria right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to click the options filter a couple times uh, just to give me some wiggle room while, uh, while making this. So the first thing that I want to do while making this screener is I want to make sure that the underlying option that is alerted is liquid. If the option is not liquid, it's not even worth trading. So for me personally, right, this is not for everyone, but for me personally, I like to look at only volume. Open interest can be great too, uh, but personally, uh, in this scenario, I, look, I like to look at volume. So um, this screener, uh, how I have it, uh, planned out will be used within, I would say the first uh, 10 minutes of open. So with that being said, I would consider um, a, a fully liquid option, an option with over a thousand contracts traded worth of volume by the end of the day. But we can't just put a thousand contracts in here because if we plan on using this at a round market open, no options are actually going to be alerted. So I'm going to use a hundred for this example. The next thing is I don't want options. I, I don't want to look to day trade options that expire in a hundred days from now. I want, you know, options that expire in maybe a week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a max days to expiration of, we're going to say five, right? So basically, no, no, actually let's go 10. So we'll do this week's expiration and next week. So we'll do 10 for days to expiration. Uh, the next thing is I want to make sure that this isn't necessarily needed, but for this example, I'm going to include it. I want to make sure the options are out of the money. Uh, with out of the money options, you can get better swings for uh, for day trade. So I'm going to make sure we are out of the money. So percentage out of the money, I'm going to do minimum 0.01. All right. And then for the next thing with the option is I want to make sure the option is up. I'm not looking to day trade an option that's falling from 50% down to 80%. I'm looking for options that are exploding, that are up 200%, 500%, maybe maybe 80%. I just want the options up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click net change. I'm going to make sure it's at least one cent. So by doing this, it looks like we have a pretty good, um, pretty good setup so far. Now there's one, oh, actually yeah, there's two, there's two other problems. So uh, the first one is I want to add one more option filter and I don't want to be day trading options that cost, you know, $5,000 each. I'm looking to day trade options that might be, you know, 500 to a thousand dollars each. So with that being said, I'm going to make sure that the last price, 
Uh, where is it? Last price right here. I'm going to make sure maximum it is. Let's say maximum. Let's go maximum. Let's go maximum $900 in minimum. Let's go five. No, let's go $50 for the minimum. So uh, now what we're going to do when we screen is we're going to see we have options that, oops. Oh, here's another thing. Uh, for the screener, you want to make sure that the options are selected right here, not just the stock. So I'll click options. And now we can see that all the options in our screener tab are, are up, right? And, and this is kind of what we're aiming for. The problem though, is that some of these stocks actually, yeah, some of these stocks, um, you, you might not wanna trade some of these stocks that are very low priced, you could say. So for example, you might not want to trade a $20 stock like HYLN. If you do wanna trade that, that's fine. But let's say you only wanna trade stocks over $50. What you gotta do is you have to uh, click the stock last price make your minimum over uh, minimum 50 and then that should be good and then stock volume uh, you don't really need this but it is useful let me go to volume I'll do like let's go a hundred thousand hundred thousand right there perfect so I think this is a pretty good day trading screener uh, basically what we're seeing is we are seeing uh, stocks that are priced minimum fifty dollars have stocks who are liquid, uh, the options are liquid, the options expire sometime in the next two weeks, the options are out of the money, so it's easy to day trade, all the options are up and the options aren't too expensive. So from this point, what you wanna do is you want to have it show all of them. So we can see that there's 358 total. I wanna see all of them, so let me see all of them. And then you could sort by percentage change. So by the time the market opens, um, you have everything right here. So if the market opens at, let's say, I don't know, let's say the market opens and you're looking for a day trade, right? You can just scan this maybe five or 10 minutes after market open, and you're going to see options that are liquid, that are up, and the stocks are liquid. So in my opinion, this can be a great uh, day trading screener. Um, now all you want to do is you want to go over to the top right here, and you want to click save scan, uh, save scan, and just save it, and you'll be good to go. So this is the first screener. That's a day trading one. It should be a pretty solid screener. Uh, the next one is we are going to look over trades that you might look to sell for credit. So for example, let's say you don't like to long options. You only like to short them. I know a lot of people who are like that. Uh, basically what we want is you want to plan out what you're looking for before you just go ahead and build a random screener. I know for a credit spread screener, I want one, I want the stock to be liquid. I, I don't want to be trading some option on some random penny stock that's not even liquid. I want I, I want a, a legitimate company. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scan in. I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to where is it? I'm going to go to public, and we are going to go to the S and P 500. So let's go to S and P 500. So by clicking this, now we are only going to see stock we're only going to see options of stocks that are in the s p 500 so with that being said all of the stocks in the s p 500 are uh do uh do fit actually actually yeah so what we're going to do in the s p 500 uh we're going to keep the last price for the scanner right there uh all, pretty much all the stocks in the s p 500 are liquid so i'm going to keep that and now what i want is i want volume i want liquidity for the plays that i might short I want them to be priced in this range. That's good. I don't necessarily care that the options are up, so I'm going to delete that. I do want, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to change percentage out of the money down to probability of expiring out of the money. And let's say we go 70%, so minimum 70%. And like, let's say we want uh, this option to expire in two weeks to let's say between 10 days and 30 days. I feel like that's a good range. And then of course we want them uh, liquid. So we'll scan right there. And yeah, so basically what this scanner is, is if you are looking to short options, uh, all of the options in the screener, one, they're liquid, two, these stocks are not penny stocks or good companies or in the S&P 500. Um, they are uh, minimum price, $50, they're liquid. 
They expire in 10 to 30 days. The probability out of the money is 70% or higher. And their last price is between the options last price between $50 and $900. So basically what this screener would do is it's good to short these options because they're most likely going to expire out of the money. If we look at a couple examples, we have HAS uh, 105 calls. So let's look at this HA, HAS 105 calls. Um, you could see that the stock is only at 92. Most likely it's going to expire out of the money. The 105 calls are, <laughs> they're, they're pretty far out of the money, like $13 out of the money. So um, that's generally how it works. I know this isn't a, uh, like we, we don't go over every little thing in this video, uh, but I feel like some, some videos you see on YouTube, they want to go over every little, little detail into building a thinkorswim screener. But uh, personally, I find more value in just, um, you know, giving you the basic rundown and then giving you a couple examples. Um, I've been building screeners on Thinkorswim for uh, quite some time now. Uh, the most important thing is pretty much in any setup, you want to make sure that the options are liquid. And to do that, you want to make sure you have good volume. Even if you're just trading stocks, you want to make sure the stocks are liquid because if the security you're trying to trade isn't liquid, then there, there's really no point in even trading it because it'll be hard to get in that security and out. So that's the most important thing. And another thing is literally just like writing down um, what you're trying to find. You know, don't just go on thinkorswim and put a bunch of random variables together. You want to make sure you, you have a, a target list of stocks and then build the screener around that. So uh, I hope this video helped you guys. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.